Picked up a Milwaukee branded 60 inch mobile workbench from Home Depot. Uh, this is the 11 drawer model. It's 22 inches deep, has 24,200 cubed inches of storage space, um, reversible top. It's made of 20 gauge metal along with a reinforced frame. It has an adjustable pegboard on it, so you just you, if you don't want to use the pegboard or you want to lower it, there are two little thumb screws that you can take out and then it pops up. It has just drawer slides mounted vertically so that you can raise it and lower it if needed. Um, it does come with drawer liners. Drawer liners in them. They fit pretty well. A couple of mine I had to trim down. but. Definitely saves you from having to purchase drawer liners separate. I know it's only a few bucks, but on a $700 toolbox like this, it's welcome to have. Um, one negative to this toolbox, very minor, picked up for a couple bucks at the store, was the shelves for in here. It does not come with drawer tool liners. So they went through the whole rest of the toolbox, gave you drawer liners, which is awesome but they did not supply those. Very minor. This has an adjustable shelf. You can put it three different heights or you can take it out depending on what you want to put in. See, you can put larger items in there. This toolbox does have more deeper drawers here. As you can see, I'm not really going into my 46 inch cabinet, but this one has less deeper drawers. So. If you're in the automotive industry, you're going to be wanting lots of narrow drawers like this because most of the automotive tools, not all, but a lot of them are skinnier like that. So um, I found this is very nice cabinet. has two larger drawers on top like this. I was able to fit all of my sockets into this drawer here. Pull the camera closer. I was able to fit them all in this drawer here when previously it took up a whole 46 inch drawer here because it's a little bit deeper I can fit more in versus that I believe it's 18 inch 46 inch box. Camera back. If you go to the website for Home Depot you will notice that there's another box that is similar. The, there's a Husky 60 inch toolbox looks almost identical. I'll be going through some of the differences in, in a little bit. Um, there are two deeper drawers down here for some of your larger tools such as grinders and saws and drills. Works out pretty nicely. Another deep drawer here that is perfect for cordless tools. So I have drills, batteries and stuff like that. There is a self-closing drawer feature. Uh, if you go through a lot of the Husky boxes and stuff like that, not all of them, but most of them, once you get to this point, they just go slam. And then all your tools go slide into the back. So these are very calm like that, so it doesn't really disrupt your tools as much. The matting does slide to the back a tiny bit, but if you have heavy enough tools in there, it's not a big issue. And compared to most toolboxes in this price range, if not all of them, this has the best self-closing drawers I've seen does have a power outlet strip on this side of the toolbox that you can plug in some of your chargers and stuff like that. Um, there's a shelf over here that you can fit gallon jugs. If you have gallon jugs like, that are oddball like this, you can't fit them this way, but normal gallon sized jugs you can fit four gallons on there, no problem. On this side there is a pry bar holder. I do kind of wish it was, had a few larger slots. Um, it has an adjuster on there in case you want to put something small, but yeah, let's get you a better view there. But it does not have anything set up so that you can put hammers on the side of the bench, which would be very convenient. So other than that, it's a very good box. What you're going to want to do for assembly is bring your pickup truck. Um, we were able to get it take it off the skids in the store and put it in our pickup truck full 8 foot box with out the skids just brought it up with four trucks slid it right in 
Um, if you have the top off your box, it's going to be a lot easier. What you're going to want to do is make sure that you What you're going to want to do is make sure that you just put the toolbox in as it comes off the pallet. And then when you get it to your garage, what you're going to want to do is take it out like this and stand it on end. So that, say like this is up in the air like this. And then open up the box carefully. And I can't remember which drawer, but you'll find the, the wheels and casters in drawer like that. So when the box is on end like that, you can put the casters on no problem. And then once you have the casters on, you lock the wheels closest to the ground so that they can't roll and then you carefully with two people just tip it down just like this. So I put the wheels on and I put the handle on that side just so you have something to grab onto and then you can lift it back onto the ground no problem. Uh, if you're trying to tip it on its back or something like that it is going to be a struggle and you might scratch or dent the box. So if you can just take it out of the truck real carefully, pivot it up, put the wheels on the handle and then put it down before you put some of the miscellaneous stuff like this mount here and move the pegboard up, it'll be much better. So overall it's a great bench, reversible wood top on here, if you do wear that out, it'll be good. You can put tools up there, I'm probably going to take that stuff down after a while, but you don't have to use the pegboard, you can hide it, you can adjust it to multiple lengths. Box is like 400 pounds, so it's very heavy, um, 20 gauge steel, as I said before, I believe that's for the drawers. So let's compare it to the Husky 60 inch box. That one has 10 drawers, it's the same, except for this is all one drawer. So if you have longer tools and stuff like that, or if you have things like a four foot level or something like this, you can't put it anywhere. But with one drawer you'd be able to do that. That is a pro. The Husky box does have 24 inch depth. So there's no pegboard on it, but it's two inches deeper. So that is a big pro. If you don't want the pegboard, the Husky is excellent. It looks like it's made from the exact same manufacturer. I'm not sure the country of origin on that. Uh, I believe it might be Taiwan or Vietnam. So unfortunately, but for the price range we're looking in, you're not going to get USA made. So same type of flat paint job on the Husky box. It's black. The Husky box does say that it has 19 gauge steel, but between the two boxes you're not going to notice a huge difference in my opinion, and as long as you're not beating the crap out of them, I don't think you're going to notice anything. So if you're going to dent up a 20 gauge, you're going to dent up a 19 gauge box anyways. Um, that one, because of being two inches deeper, does have like 2300 square inches more of storage space with the deeper drawer so if you don't need the pegboard and don't have say a matching 46 inch box like that it is a very good box to look into I've seen one or two reviews on it looks exactly the same as this they say it's pretty much the same thing two inches deeper no pegboard you're not going to have a mount for your pry bars here not a big deal and you are also not going to get the storage shelf over there other than that it's the exact same thing pretty good box so I look for the Husky I paid $6.98 for this but there's an advertisement that said $5.98 in the box so I was able to get them down to $5.98 then 11% off of that I should get in the mail in a few weeks so I got it for like $540 or something like that after all said and done which is a really good deal on the website for this version it's been $6.98 to $7.50 on their website. It's $6.98 currently, and that is the same price as the Husky box. So if you're in the market, I don't think you can go wrong with either. If you want the pegboard or like the Milwaukee brand name, get the Milwaukee or get the Husky box. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, another only downside I see to this box is the keys are not the same as the Milwaukee box, but you can rekey it for cheap, so that's not an issue whatsoever. So, great box should be a, should last me a lot lifetime as long as you take care of it. It's not going to be an issue. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Please give a thumbs up on the video. Um, subscribe if you haven't to my channel. New videos will be coming out every Wednesday and Sunday. So, thank you for watching.